Hey, good morning everybody. This is Mr. Ainsworth and we are going to get into activity 2B2 here in MRWC and we're going to learn how to construct a fraction on the number line using a compass and a straight edge. So we want to uh, accurately locate with a compass and a straight edge where one fourth is or three fifths or negative two sevenths or five eighths, you know, any of those fractions on the number line. Not by just guesstimating or approximating like we did earlier in 2B1 but actually constructing it with a compass and a straight edge. So here we go. You're gonna need some tools. You gotta to have the compass here. Now this compass, it's called the Circle Master Compass. You can get it at the library. So if you don't have one, then go to the library. It's been there all weekend last week. I put them there. You just ask the library and let them know that you're in MRWC and you can go for it and you pick one up. Make sure that the pencil and the pointer are evenly uh, adjusted right here. You can adjust it tighter or looser right here in the middle of the compass right here. This is a very accurate compass. So if your compass that you have is not very good, then go ahead and pick one of these up. You can put a mechanical pencil in there or a regular pencil. I like mechanical. You can even put a red pen in here for different colors too. All right. You want to have a nice pencil with a sharp tip. Your constructions have to be accurate because this is not easy to do. So here we go. We're going to, and there's a video, right? So just go ahead and pause and play. You know, after I show you step, you know, press pause and then uh, press play whenever you're ready. But our goal is to construct one fourth first, and then I'll show you how to construct uh, other fractions as well. So you need to locate zero, locate one on the number line. One fourth is somewhere one fourth of the way from zero to one. So like this would be about one half and this would be about a fourth. But again, we're not guesstimating like we did on the previous one. We're actually constructing it. So place zero one on the number line. The first step you want to do, or first step you want to make is construct a transversal through zero. So take your straight edge, which is your ruler here and line it up with zero and draw a line going through zero. It's called a transversal. And what we're going to do too uh, is also write down the steps. So step one, construct a, a transversal through zero. So construct a transversal, which is just an intersecting line. It's a fancy word for something simple. All right, through zero. I'm gonna call that T for transversal. All right, now we're constructing one fourth and we wanna divide this segment, unit segment length up from zero to one into four equal parts, right? Because we're gonna construct one fourth. So to do that, we're gonna take our compass first. Okay, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to rotate the paper and I'm gonna construct four congruent segments on the transversal. Okay, so here we go. So since I'm right-handed, and you're gonna be doing this too, whether you're right or left-handed. If I was left-handed, I wouldn't have to move the paper here. I would just use it right here, hold it on the pointer side and construct you know, four congruent segments. But because I'm right-handed, I'm going to rotate the paper to make it easier for me. And I'm going to open it up. And the radius that you choose, the distance between the pointer and the pencil, is called the radius of the compass. It doesn't matter what radius it is, but if it's too big, obviously, I can't construct four congruent segments with a radius that's too big. All right, so obviously decrease the size of the radius a little bit here. All right, here we go. And I'm going to count to four. One, two three and four. Okay, so let's label and let's uh, see what we have so we can refer to these things. Okay, so I'm gonna call this point here, the starting point at zero, I'm gonna call it A just for reference. So again, this is the first arc, second arc, third arc, fourth arc, but I need the intersection points. So I'm gonna call this point B, I'm gonna call this point here in red C, where it intersects the transversal, and then D and then E. And then over here, I'm gonna call the point at one, I'm gonna call that F just for reference, just because I'm teaching this right here. When you're doing this, you don't have to label everything, but you just have to be accurate. All right, so I constructed a transversal first. The second thing we did is construct four congruent segments on the transversal. So construct four congruent segments because the denominator is four. Four congruent segments on the transversal. 
segments on the transversal. Okay. And the reason why we did four is because we're going to divide it up into fourths. If I, if I want to construct one fifth, I would do five. Okay. All right. Step three is uh, connect E to F. Or construct a segment from E to F. That's simple. So you can make, uh, you can just stop from E to F, or you can just go all the way through. I'm just going to go all the way through. Okay. So you have this triangle here from A to E to F. Okay. So what I want to do is construct and figure out where one fourth is. So I want to figure out how to construct a line parallel to EF. All right. So here's line EF. Parallel to would be right about there. So right about here would be three fourths. This would probably be two fourths or one half. And then right here, if I go parallel, and again, you can't just eyeball. I'm eyeballing right now so I can show you the goal. But right here through B, that's that's where I want. I want to construct a line parallel to EF through B so I can find one fourth. That's my goal. All right. So what I want to do, here's number four, is I want to get my compass again. And I'm going to adjust it at E, and I'm going to extend it past D, so my arcs don't overlap. Okay, so just to open up your compass a little bit and intersect uh, both the transversal and EF right here. So you have these two intersection points. So you just now taking that same radius right here, you can do the same thing uh, down here at point D, or excuse me, B. Okay. Because I want to, I want to find one fourth. So I'm going to construct the same arc. So one arc at E, one arc at B. Okay, same radius. So let's write that step down. So at point E now. Okay, point E. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm just going to say at points E and B. So at points. B and e, uh, e and B at points E and B, all right, construct congruent arcs, okay? Construct congruent arcs. That's a congruent symbol. Now, the same radius. Congruent arcs means they have the same radius. Because I didn't change it, right? Okay. Now, what happens is that we want to readjust the compass from between these two points. Okay, I'm going to draw a dotted line so you can see it. So I want to adjust the compass there. The reason why is I'm going to use it down here, and I got to find my fourth point down here. Wherever that is, I'm going to draw my parallel line. So what I need to do is readjust my compass from, let's say, let's just go alphabetical here. Um, so let me relocate. So D is up here, and then at G. So G to H. And then I'm going to come down here at I and then use that radius. So I'm going to rotate my paper because I'm I'm right-handed. I'm going to rot, uh, adjust it to GH and it'd be a different radius most likely. So you have to be so notice that I readjusted it to GH. Come down here at I and then construct the same arc. So when you see it, it looks looks like the same thing is happening. Okay. So let's give this a name. So GH has the same radius as IJ. Okay. And then I'm done. Almost. I have to connect B to J. So line them up. And notice that's parallel. So this line here is parallel to this line here. These are parallel lines. If you do it correctly, they're parallel. If you're not very accurate, they won't be parallel. All right, and I just located one fourth. It's right here. Okay. So one way you can check that is if you just readjust your compass to one fourth, and let's see how accurate I am. This is not an easy construction. All right. So you you know if you're very close, then you're good. All right. If you're way way off, then you have to practice and do it again. There's two fourths. All right, and then three-fourths, and then four-fourths. Notice that I'm a little beyond one because it's not perfect. 
All right, but that's one fourth, and then two fourths, which is a half, and then three fourths, and then four fourths, which is obviously one. So uh, there's also other things that you can get. If you know where one fourth is right here, from zero to one fourth is one fourth, what you do is you go the other direction here. So let me re rotate here. So you measure one fourth, readjust, and then rotate, rotate, go on the other side of that zero, and guess what? If you're one fourth on the other side of zero, guess where you're at? Okay, you're at negative one fourth, okay, negative one fourth. So once you locate uh, one fourth, you know where negative one fourth is. Once you locate two fourths, you know where negative two fourths is. Once you locate three fourths, you know where negative three fourths is. Okay, so what we did there, uh, let's finish the steps here is I readjusted the compass from, from G to H. So readjust compass so that the radius is from G to H. So that radius, which is the distance between the pointer and the pencil there, has the same distance as G to H. Find H right here, so from G to H, and then go down here to find J you put it at I and repeat, okay? So readjust compass so that radius from G to H, and then at I construct the art to find J. Okay, so at point I, okay, construct arc to find J. Okay, the last step, number seven, is to draw line B, B, J day right here which is parallel to EF. So last step, okay, draw a line, uh, B through J, which is called BJ, line BJ, parallel to, that's a parallel symbol in geometry, EF. That's a little geometry symbol there. So this means parallel. Okay. And again, these should look parallel. If not, then you're not doing it correctly. And it's all about accuracy here. This is not an easy construction, but once you uh, do it a few times, then obviously it gets better and better. And what I would do is I would repeat this construction three or four times until you're accurate, okay? Because you should be able to uh, go from zero to one fourth, get that radius, that distance with your compass, and do it four more times and land up at one. And if you land at one, you're accurate. If you're a little bit off, which I was because I was going a little bit too fast, uh, then you have to practice and redo it again. And the more times you do it, the more careful you get, uh, or you, you are, the better it is. So let's do one more time. All right, but let me just pick a different fraction, like two sevenths or something. So let's construct two sevenths just for fun. I'm just making these fractions up because it doesn't matter. It's the technique right here. Okay, so you want to... You want to start off with a segment length, right? Of unit length one. So here's zero and here's one. And you just, it doesn't matter where you place one, just you gotta start off with some distance. Okay, and I wouldn't make this too, uh, too steep right here or too shallow right here. I'd bring the transversal up here. So it tends to be a little bit easier in my opinion. So make a transversal. Ooh. Okay, T for transversal. Right now, I'm not going to label the steps. I'm just going to perform it, okay, which is what you're going to be doing. And the very first thing you do uh, is at zero, which is this point right here, all right, you want to mark off seven congruent segments. So since I'm right-handed, I'm going to rotate my paper here, and then I'm going to mark off seven. So the radius can't be too big because i got to go seven segments, okay? Seven i got to construct seven congruent segments. So it's just one, two, uh oh, this may be too big. Three, four, five, six, oh, okay, I'm okay. Seven. So I got kind of lucky there. You don't want to, if you're off the paper, then you have to start over and do it again. So one, two, three, four, all right, five, six, seven. Okay, so then. I'm just going to put some letters on here just so that I can talk about it in the video. Uh, when you practice, you don't have to, but you know, since I'm instructing, <laughs> uh, you know, heck, I can't, but rather than saying, you know, here and there, you know, I just call out the points, right? 
Okay, so I've got all the points labeled. So now I connect H to I. See, it's much easier to say that. Okay, so here we go. So H to I. Okay, so I want to construct two sevenths. So my end result should look right about here. It should be parallel to H I going through um, going through point C because I want two sevenths. So right here be one seventh, two sevenths, three sevenths, four sevenths, five sevenths, six sevenths, and then seven sevenths. So my goal is to get it through point C, which is down the second arc. All right, no problem. So I'm gonna open up the compass. I'm right here, this will twist the paper. And you can pick, you know, pick, you know, make the arc uh, or the radius a little bit bigger so that you're not overlapping arcs. So just pick that radius. I'm going to go through H and then I want two sevens and not three sevens. So I need to go through C. So I place it at C and I draw the same arc. Now it's this radius right here that I'm highlighting in red and I suggest you use red. That's the radius you need right there. And I have this point here. I need to find my second point, like this point here. So let me see. Uh, I'm going to just call this X, Y for right now. X, Y. So from X to Y, and then from W right here to Z. I don't know. I got to figure out where it is, right? So I have to adjust my compass from X to Y. So I don't know what that radius is. So to rotate and adjust. So close up. I have to close up my radius, my compass. Okay, look at that. I found it come down here at W, repeat, boom, I found it. So what do I have? I have this point here. I'm going to draw the radius in in red so you can see it. So I'm going to call that point Z. Okay, so uh, X, Y equals W, Z, the radius. Okay, then all I do is connect C to Z. It should be parallel to H, I here. Be accurate too. Okay, and then when you do, you get two sevenths. So one seventh, two sevenths, three sevenths, four sevenths, five sevenths, six sevenths, seven sevenths. There's two sevenths. So right here is two sevenths. And if I wanted negative two sevenths, no problem. Okay, all you do is adjust your compass from zero to two sevenths, whatever that is. And then go on the other side of zero. There we go. Okay, so you have two sevens there. Uh, and then negative two sevens over here. And then if you want to bisect the distance from zero to two sevens, you can get one seventh, you know, through B. Okay. Or if you want four sevens, you just, uh, let me see, two sevens plus two sevens is four sevens. So if you want two sevens, you adjust it from zero to two sevens. Come over here, okay, there's four sevens. All right, because this distance is two sevens, and then this distance is two sevens, and two sevens plus two sevens equals four sevens. All right, so that's how you construct a fraction on the number line using a compass and a straight edge. There's other ways to do it. We'll explore those later maybe. All right, but that's one way to do it. All right, so the first one I constructed one fourth. Practice this multiple times. You can practice other fractions too if you like. And then you get to go into activity 2B2 right here. And you're going to be constructing uh, the fractions three fifths, negative two thirds, one seventh, seven sixths, which is one and one sixth. And then the other ones, let me see, negative five thirds and 11 fifths. So you have some practice to do here, and this is kind of like what it looks like when you're done. All right. So again, this is a video, so go ahead and, and uh, use it to your advantage. Listen to it again if you want. And again, it's all about accuracy. You got to keep your, your compass and your, uh, your pencil and everything really sharp, really thin. Make your lines really thin and light, okay? And so you can be accurate. So accuracy is important. Accuracy is important that's how it's graded okay so it's not just the action but it's the 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 end result okay 
I will put uh, some more videos later on. We'll do this again. Uh, but right now, just go ahead and get started and try your Activity 2B2.